Roy Mustang, the renowned flame alchemist, was useless in two situations. The first being when it rained, the second being when he was stripped of his gloves. Currently his predicament was the latter, that and the fact he was bound to a chair. Roy Mustang, who would have thought he would be so easy to restrain? She stepped into his field of vision. She was a pretty girl, late twenties, curly brown hair that framed her face, blue eyes, and a sizable bust. As far as first dates go, I'm afraid I've had better, to be honest. Most girls only get freaky in the bedroom, although if this is what gets you going, then who am I to complain? Yes, he was bound to a chair. And yes, he was utterly defenseless. But he was also renowned for being a womanizer and a complete and utter idiot. Do you know why I need you? Not a clue. I'm fully clothed, and so are you, so I don't have a lot to go on. <laughs> Teach me, flame alchemy. It wasn't the first time people had come after him for his alchemy. Considering he was the only flame alchemist, it was no surprise. People had attempted to simply copy the transmutation circles on his gloves and try to activate them, but with no knowledge of the alchemy that they were performing, they usually ended up either badly burned or dead. His alchemy had a reputation for being dangerous for a reason. Look, don't you think a lot of people have already come after my alchemy? Clearly, none have succeeded, so why bother try? Because I know your weakness. Everyone knows you can't use your alchemy in the rain. But that's not your true weakness now, is it? You're utterly defenseless when your dear lieutenant is in danger. Isn't that right? <laughs> that got your attention, didn't it? I mean, it's not too late to comply. What have you done with my lieutenant? What have you done with my lieutenant? Answer me! Wouldn't you like to know? You bitch, I swear to God, if you've touched her! The woman before him fell to her knees, clutching her thigh where blood began seeping through her clothes from a bullet hole. Behind her, dressed in civilian clothing, was the hawk's eye. Colonel, I appreciate the concern. But I'm more than capable of taking care of myself. Have faith in me, please, sir. You are under arrest for kidnap, attempted blackmail, and threatening a state alchemist. Reinforcements are on the way. Anything you say will be held against you. Lieutenant, get him home safely. You'll both have to give statements, but that'll be tomorrow. Minutes later, Roy Mustang exited the building, followed by his ever-faithful lieutenant to a black military car. He slid into the passenger seat and she took the driver's side. Thank you, Lieutenant, for rescuing me from that awful date. Although, how did you know I'd be in trouble? When a woman spends most of her time looking at your gloves, it gives reason for suspicion. Where should she be looking instead? <laughs> well, I personally like a man with a big paycheck. <laughs> Where would I be without you, Lieutenant? Probably still locked in a warehouse somewhere, tied to a chair. And not for kinky reasons, either. I'm truly grateful, Lieutenant. Thank you. He smiled. That woman was right. Riza Hawkeye was indeed his weakness.